Starting this vlog on a Tuesday because I worked solo yesterday. Got kind of bored with it and there wasn't much to. So, here I am. I'm going casual to the store today just because I'm going to do some inventory, steaming, tagging, reorganizing, website stuff. So there's really not a need to be like, you know, overly dressed up. Now I'm working on maturing the gallery wall so that... <laughs> Clearly it's got a long way to go, but Reeves got me the cutest thing for Christmas. Uh, yeah, so I got the wrong size frame. I just ordered the correct size, but I'm leaving it here just to kind of see. So I'm trying, this I thrifted from an antique store, hello. And this actually came from an Etsy shop and I have been really impressed by the quality of it. I was not expecting that. So lots to change and replace here. So it's gonna look bad until I get more gold, but we'll see. And then I've been taking stuff down. I'm gonna find a new frame for this and just, yeah. Thinking, Caroline, it's really late for you to just now be going to work. And you're correct, it is. Okay. Hey, I'm leaving my house. <laughs> Just did this really cute homepage re-edit for the new stall that showed up. But I thought it turned out kind of cute. Mom's here helping. Very stylish today. And we have Girl Scout cookies. Love. <laughs> this one said, I am bold, but I ate half of it. Oh. And this one says, I'm creative. If you all even saw what my camera was sitting on, you'd be the most concerned, but I think it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a few books that I have been really into that I think everyone should also be really into. One of the first books I want to tell everybody to read, sorry that I'm so far from the camera, I guess... I feel like I'm in a rocking chair, whatever, is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons, Simmons actually. This book, <laughs> this is a historical fiction novel. I'm just gonna try to explain a little bit of it. The world is turned upside down when Hitler's armies attack Russia and begin unstoppable blitz to Leningrad. Um, this was a 10 out of 10 five star read. So definitely read that. Next we have Magnolia Parks Into the Dark by Jessa Hastings. If you know me, you know the Magnolia Parks series is one of my all time favorite series. Um, but nothing will ever beat the Magnolia Parks Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. Um, that's right. I know exactly where things are back here, so don't act shocked. This was a four star read for me. I know people are going to come for me. I just thought this is a very long book for what was in it. This was around. 700 something pages and I truly think if she tried she could have um, condensed this down to 300 something probably 200 something I loved the story like the characters are good it's just yeah if you are someone who is looking for a self-published author Picking Daisies on Sundays by Liana Sincati or Lana Sincati I don't know this book, Chef's Kiss, she actually has another one, ow, hurt myself, um, called Don't Be In Love, and this was like about college students in London, I really like this one, but this is about two like childhood best friends, you guys know, I hate childhood friends to lovers tropes, but like sh this is self-published, it's so good, she did the cover, I really, really loved this book, it was New York City vibes, the aesthetics were there. And then I read Good Material by Dolly Alderton. You guys know I love Dolly. Um, this is kind of about a comedian who's a guy actually, which was unique because her books are never from male perspectives, who has had heartbreak and it's really about him kind of navigating that. One dumb thing I did is I accidentally ordered large print. I hate large print books. There's another one up here that's Yes, everything behind me is organized. Like these are just some things I read. These are like my favorites. So anything here is like a top tier book. So I know you guys are glad for that news. These are my just like five star reads lately. Like y'all know my favorite series. My second favorite series. Two great standalones. Three great standalones. Okay, a lot of great standalones. 
Um, yeah, these are just my favorites I've ever read. Um, literally like two top tier all time. And then this is just ones that I've been finishing reading lately. So like, I liked these, but they weren't like my all time favorite books in the world. And if the air or something turns on in here, these are goners. So just know that. aren't in the act of fixing a nice crisp coca-cola on a day like this and reading a book i don't know what you're doing but you're probably not my friend sorry <laughs> why was that oddly harsh oh wow it actually looks like i have a let me just show you up my nose while i'm at it i was trying to show you my eyeshadow so i thrifted this hand painted vase and i'm just like so obsessed with it and i think like the gold and everything i just love it so much I am watching Before Sunrise for the first time in my life and this has solidified that I have never had a legitimate conversation of substance with another human being. I mean, what? Okay, make sure you follow me on Letterboxd. You can kind of see like these are my four favorites. These are my most recent watches. You all like some of these were just, I actually really enjoyed this, Doris Day. This was a good one. Also, if you don't have a letterbox, like, get on it. Hey, same day, changed my outfit. Um, I thrifted for $3.99 this, The End of the Affair. Um, I've kind of wanted to read it, and let me tell you guys. Books A Million has had so many people in it lately. And, like, the other day, I was, like, walking down an aisle where usually I, like, pick up a book, read the back, decide if I want it. And there was, like, a young couple making out on the floor. And they acted so inconvenient so I needed to get by. And I was like, this is bam, not bang. Look at these I got, by the way. Elvis playing cards. My solitaire, because you know, no one sees when you lose when you play in solitaire. Um, it's gonna go into a whole new level with these Elvis cards. What else is new? Jeez Louise. Ah! I was just ripped off every nail. But we're okay. favorite spot in Austin. We got Reeves, Mom, Nanny, and Papa have joined us. I'm very excited. Um, I just ordered a rain water that's going to be here. Today I'm just doing these red boots from Allen's here, jeans that are gone from the store, from the mix, this shirt. I don't even know how I'm going to eat it. Here's those uh, fries with the... Oh, oh here, here's the burger. There's these fries with that. All the time is fine. This is what the name is. Do we look like tourists? Is the question. Designed a little hat. 
Awesome. Reeves just got some new Tacovas that she's wearing today. They've cut me up all up on the side. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Tacovas. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds or less. Caroline and I are going to Reformation right now. We can't see her. We're on South Con. Anywho, I think tonight's gonna be kind of casual. That's not real. <laughs> that does not happen to me. Reese is doing her unboxing. And then I got. I got this those. Cute short. That's that's a ransom. Reeves is going with a skinny. He's coming up. Well, that's my all content. This is good. Lockhart, Texas again. We just got. What was this place called? The culinary something. Banana pudding. And now we're doing a little shopping. I believe this one. We're now at Cruz. Well, I can tell you. Or whatever. That, that's on the pit. How is it? Nice. I said, how is it? It's in my mouth full. Got this little farmer's mark right now. Oh, spotted. I found them. Um, Sorry, I lost you. Me. Hi. I'm back in the Auburn house. I just road tripped here all day. And I think Brady's coming over tonight for dinner. Possibly Katie. I'm not really sure. But I'm glad to be here. I just walked in though, and my freezer has like frozen over. I opened it and just straight ice fell out. So I've gotta come up with a situation for that. I'm um, about to drive to the store, check in on things. But I'm glad to be back in this house. I do love it. Um, I think we're gonna cook tonight. Just do some really simple you know, food. Um, shocker, I'm watching Seinfeld. <laughs> Still actually need a piece of art to go right here. I don't know what kind of art I want. I actually kind of look he do, but I don't think I need that. Let me show you guys something I thrifted as well. It's like kind of hard to pick up, but I picked up this old cigar box thrifting. Okay. So you open it up and we've got all the pieces and stuff like a poker game. And I thought it was just something cool to kind of like grab and thrift and it's just like Havana Ray. No, Havana chest. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. It wasn't expensive, so I wanted it and I got it. What else is new? I also picked up some old magazines. Because you guys know I always leave this Robert Redford there. But then I felt like it was kind of a cool idea to decorate the coffee table with sort of like old magazines. Because you guys know I love Burt Reynolds um, and I love Paul Newman. Hat is the new Dairy Boy collection. Had really greasy hair today. <laughs> and this was the only option. Like you can see, it's just like stringy. I can't wait to shower tonight and wash it and have a good few days here. So let's head out to the store, see how they're doing. Okay, 